I actually meant to speak about this woman in my live stream, but unfortunately I did forget and I apologize for that, but I still wanted to, you know, come on here and make a video um, speaking about this woman. Um, shout out to Lisa Cabrera because I think she was one of the few that actually did a video about her. But if you don't know who this is, this woman's name is Olivia Hooker. She lived to be 103 years old and she just recently passed. Now the reason why I'm doing a video about her is because she was the last sole survivor from Black Wall Street. As we all know, Black Wall Street was a town that thrived in Tulsa, Oklahoma that was completely owned by black people. Most of the black people that owned that town or those businesses came, some of them came right out of slavery and were able to put their stuff together, you know, and thrive for 15 years. I didn't realize that Black Wall Street lasted that long. That's a long time for everything black owned. And of course, you know, the tragedy of it all is that it was destroyed by the U.S. government. And in some circles, it is seen as the first terrorist attack upon America. But this, what made this interesting is that this was an American attack on American soil by other quote unquote Americans. But history books won't put that there. They won't talk about it or anything like that. You pretty much have to do your own research as it pertains to that. This woman was a living testament to that. Can you imagine how many people conversed with her or spoke with her and wanted to talk with her about her experience, not only with the tragedy itself, but what it was like at that time to be in a thriving community filled with black people who were together as one and creating a financial situation for themselves when the American government was not going to help them which is probably one of the major reasons why they destroyed the town. It was it was probably a few other factors, but I think the main one would have to be jealousy and envy that these black people were able to make a way out of no way. And Black Wall Street wasn't the only town that was destroyed, a um, prominent black town that was destroyed. There were many others. It's just that this one was probably the most famous because this one actually, I think, lasted longer than the other ones. And of course, you know, the story of Rose where they actually made a movie about that. I, I actually hope that they make a movie about Black Wall Street, but I want everything about that to be completely accurate. And I want them to actually uh, show more of the thriving side, you know, the beginning stages of it, also going into the years where they were thriving. And then, of course, touch on the tragedy. I don't want it to be, oh, they spend maybe a few minutes on their, on their humble beginnings, a few minutes on its thriving, and then the rest of the movie for like the next two hours is just on the tragedy because then it's like you completely diminish most of the, the best part just to get to what people wanted to see. That's sort of like with the Titanic. Like they covered like maybe the first two hours of that film talking about, uh, you know, historical stuff. And, you know, leading up, you know, the story and whatnot. And then the last two hours talked about the boat hitting the iceberg and it sinking. Do something like that. That's what I would prefer to see. And, of course, make sure that the people involved know what they're doing, get the right directors, actors, and all the people to portray the characters and whatnot and have the story be accurately told. Because, you know, when it comes to our stuff, they will, they will tiptoe and tap dance around our history as they've been known to do. But... Can you imagine what this woman has seen or, you know, throughout her lifetime? 103 is a long time. That is a century and three years. She outlived all her family members, most likely. Probably outlived her grandkids. Probably outlived her kids and a, whole, and a host of others. I mean, to live that long and to have experienced something like that and still be alive, up until the time she died in 2018 is huge. And that was a current picture of her that you're looking at right now. She didn't look 103 to me. Like this woman looked like she could have been in her maybe her 80s, late 70s. But 103, I would have never guessed it. But to all of her living relatives right now, I offer my condolences to them and to anyone else that may have heard. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video. But yeah, I was pretty much at the end anyway. Um, condolences to her family, her living relatives, her friends, uh, anybody, maybe any nurses that probably had to take care of her, 
in her later years. But this is just an amazing. I wish I could actually sit down with her and actually pick her brain, like ask. And I bet she had a very sharp mind, mainly because the stories that she had to tell remained fresh in her mind because people kept asking her. So that's what kept her going. That's what kept her alive, is that she wanted to tell her story to as many people as she possibly could. But with that being said, rest in power to Miss Olivia Hooker. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.